Hello everybody, this is Xenocat823543, welcoming you back to Let's Play Xenoblade Chronicles. And we're going to head up to the last floor of Prison Island. Directly behind us, there's nothing but this thing that appears to be deactivated. And that's all we can explore. Before we get to, yeah, as soon as you go, which is the next, which is the next transporter, and then we head up here and cutscenes take over. We must be outside the tower. You remember that line? Are we here? This is it. Yup. This is the place I saw. <laughs> and now we're going up the flight of stairs to... Melia. Where this, where this took place. We found our way here. Father, who is this? Welcome, true heir to the Monado. And yeah, these visions we're having, we've been having this whole time, they're finally starting to tap it, come true. Check that guy out. Is this... He's one of the giants said to have become extinct eons ago. This is what our forefathers locked away. I am Zanza, and I have waited centuries for you. You waited for him? But I thought our forefathers imprisoned you here. I forged the Monado. It is molded from me. All who wield the sword are made known to me. You made the Monado? Yes. I made it millennia ago to oppose Mechonis. But why are you imprisoned? The Monado controls the principle upon which life is based. The source of your existence. Ether. Master the principle of life, and all things will bow to you. Your power will be infinite. As you now know, the sword gives the wielder the power of foresight. And I myself once used that sword against the Mechonis and defeated it. You're telling us you beat the Mechonis with that tiny thing? <laughs> its appearance is merely an illusion. Its form morphs to conform to the will of its master. The power comes from within. <sighs> but its power was feared by some. That is why the High Entia imprisoned me here long ago. That can't be true. Our forefathers would have had better reason. You are what you are. Do you not believe your own eyes? Open your mind, new ruler of the High Entia. The Monado is the blade of the Bionis, the only force that can oppose the Maconis. As the wielder grows, so too does his ability to control all things. Yet there is still power trapped in the sword. The Monado is in shackles. Shackles? It is suppressed. You mean... Flashback to really old cutscene. It's coming up. Do you remember this cutscene? Oh, back when Ryan was naked. Or next to naked. Oh my god. Yes, <laughs> no. It was this constraint that 
that gave rise to faced Mekon. That was like Mekon which cannot be destroyed by part the five or six. That was a that was like a hundred parts ago. Why are we bringing that back, that up? We're done with that. Yeah, more face mech on defeated. Okay, sorry about the crazy camera angles. That's the game, not me. They already knew he was here. That's interesting. These shackles. They must be the reason the Monado can't hurt people as well. Does that have something to do with the faced Mekon? You must find that out by yourself. I will remove those shackles for you. But you must take the Monado and free me from this prison. Free me, and the Monado will cut down anything you wish. Nothing but a god can stand in your way. Don't do it, Shulk. Oh. Melio, why? Something's not right. The forefathers must have had good reason to seal him. I need that power. I thought you of all people would understand. I do, but it's just... Hold on a minute. He only said he'd release this new power. Sounds like a good idea to me. But... Melio... Please understand, I must do what I set out to. The Mekon must pay. Please don't bring back these cutscenes. Why are we having so many cutscenes from Colony 9? What is this? That was so far back into the past. We've come. We're like. We've traveled all the way up to Bionis since then. I ask for nothing in return. It is your choice. <sighs> I will. Somehow that thing can go through. And it hits Zanza. It was Metal Face. face mech on that doesn't face look mech. like the other ones. And apparently it's silver faced according to Charlotte. I guess it kind of Zanza. is. Respond, Zanza. 
I know you can hear me. Ooh, this is really I foreshadowing. Zanza, how many more will you sacrifice? Who are you to talk to me? How dare you? You know nothing. I am here to talk, Zanza. Ah! You will pay for what you've done! Please wait. I mean you no harm. Give us back the aura! Um, Shulk, you really should negotiate. I really would focus on Metal Face and not that Silver-Faced Mechon. If the Silver-Faced Mechon says that, like, I mean, yeah, you haven't had great experiences with him, but at least they've been honest. The Mechon haven't been lying, so I would at least list, give the silver face back on a chance. Is that right, young man? What? Or who are you? How do you know me? Let's see. Apparently, Metal Face knows Dumban. He moves like. But that's impossible! Dumban! Yeah, foreshadowing something that we won't know. Well, at least, that, well, that's nice. So, Moomkar is the only one that we'll have to fight. At least we're not fighting Groot. Yeah, Saurian! And, yeah, I know this is a really long cutscene, but don't worry, we're getting to something exciting soon. This is a huge, like, major yeah. part of the plot. So, yeah. This is the first... This is, I'd say, the second major... This is the first really big part of the plot. Like, this ends the first half, basically. Well, not half. It's I'd say it's a little less than half. But it's if they say this game is two segments, two main segments, and an end game, this is the end of the first segment. Like these cutscenes and the upcoming boss battle are the mark the end of this segment of the game. Of the first segment of the game, of the first half of the game, not counting end game, because there's end game. Give me the power I need. I am now a mere shell. The power is already yours. Let's get ready for this. The shackles have been broken. Wield the sword. Oh, and by the way, after this. All the Monado arts can go up to level 10, and the Monado will now be upgraded and have three slots instead of two. So that's n so those are two nice bonuses that happen here. Zanza. Mekon. It's not over. The people of Vionis will never let you triumph. New symbol means person in Japanese, I think. Ooh, upgraded Minato. But we're not using Shulk for this fight. Because we're using a nice party of tanks. Ricky, Ryan, and Dumban. That is the party I am using for this fight. So sorry, Shulk, you're sitting out of this as long with the ladies. And yeah, 
you can level everything up to level 10 for the Monado Arc, at least. Ether attacks are worth using here. Ether attacks are worth using. Really, the goal here is to build up a chain attack. But you can still get some decent damage on him with damage over time. Also, you can use your own. That just for the bonus effect. <laughs> what the heck? I'm selecting Ryan. And now let's topple them. What the heck? You were supposed to inflict break, Ricky! You let me down. Yes, I got a break in. Which means that... Yes, they had topple arts. Now this is the time to get your physical arts damage in. E any ether damage you can get is good too. And damage over time is good because it's just going to deal damage to him. Yeah, I'm just using it to inflict break on him. Once it's toppled, you're good. As soon as Dumban uses Gale Slash, that's a good time to do stuff. Ether. Yep. Ooh, thank you. Now 
Come on, dumb man, you scale five. As soon as he uses Gale Slash, go for it, because... You know what, since we're not doing anything anyway, I might as well get some of the talent. Some of the party gauge. This is a long fight, and I will probably have to cut it soon. Let's do something that's useful, like... Terminate, why not? Oh, apparently that ends that battle. So I will pause it probably now. And I will see you guys next time when we get back to this ba cutscene because this is long. And we will keep, we will watch the cutscene following that battle, and I think there's another boss battle, maybe. Maybe not, I don't know. But, I'll see you then.